Well, thank you so much for joining us for the virtually awful Concord de Limon's Cobbled Together Kangaroo Carts class. Now, this is a class we had to add when we started doing the Concord de Limon's Down Under, which uh, normally happens in September in South Australia in the beautiful town of Adelaide in conjunction with the Bay to Birdwood Run, which is actually a world-class event that goes from the bay, uh, the ocean in, in Adelaide, all the way up into the hills to the National Motoring Museum in Birdwood and uh, thousands of people participate, thousands of cars show up, um, just a great event. And we do our best to ruin it with a Concorde de Limones. And uh, we have uh, some participants uh, from that show uh, that have entered in this class. But first of all, we have to introduce our judges. As always, we have our chief judge from Classic Motorsports Magazine, Tim Sutter. Thanks for being with us yet again, Tim. How are you doing? I'm holding up pretty good. It's been a long day, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. I've, I've been uh, looking at some really good, I mean, not so good cars, and uh, these all seem to have the steering wheel on the wrong side. Yeah, we, <laughs> we will get to that. Uh, and our, our next judge uh, comes to us uh, from the land of Down Under, and pretty sure he is the king of Australia, uh, Kevin Knoll. Kevin, how are you doing? Absolutely brilliant, guys, and it's a pleasure to be on board with such esteemed company, uh, yourself excluded, of course. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Kevin is uh, a member of the Cruise in Adelaide uh, Car Club and uh, is a major figure in car collecting and the car hobby in Australia and uh, helps put on the Bay to Birdwood and is instrumental in putting on the, uh, the Concorde de Limones down under. So if you want to do something car related in Australia, talk to Kevin, a great resource. And if you want to just be shown around to find the best German food in Australia. Kevin knows where it is. <laughs> that we do. Yes, indeed. Uh, so uh, next on our docket of uh, esteemed judges is Eric Peterson. Uh, Eric, uh, tell everybody what it is you do and what do you have behind you there? Uh, I run a small restoration shop in Pennsylvania. And as I was telling you guys earlier, this is a Pinto behind me that we're refitting vinyl to the side. So it's just a, it's a difficult pattern to find. So. Yeah, I think, you, I think you probably want to get rid of that yellow spot on the side and get rid of the red yeah, paint. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to, we'll have to, I don't know what that guy was thinking, but yeah, yeah. we'll fix it. We'll take care of it. Well, let's dive right in. We have uh, quite a few uh, cobbled together kangaroo carts to look at and uh, let's get right to it. So we'll show you on the screen here, our first entry, which is a 1986 Nissan R31 Skyline that was actually built in Australia for the Australian domestic market, even though it came from a Japanese manufacturer. Now, pretty cool car. But Kevin, a lot of a lot of cars from other manufacturers were actually built in Australia. Yeah, that's right. At, at one stage, we actually had a motor manufacturing industry. So um, obviously, the design work was done in Australia. They just took a house brick and put wheels on it. So um, yeah, that kind of works for their number. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? This is a 1981. Uh, gosh. Let's see. It's, it's a like Toyota. A Toyota. It is a yeah. Toyota, but it was made. Uh, it was made in the the first uh, Toyota factory outside of Japan, um, mm -hmm. and this is a KE fifty five. Which, wow, <laughs> bunch of different colors at one point. <laughs> yeah, it has a big. It has a big ugly vent option on the back. Yeah. that Americans definitely don't see, a Fa Ford Falcon wagon, a, a 2000 wow. Ford Falcon wagon. Now, I would have thought that this would have sold like hotcakes in America, <laughs> but uh, it just never made it to our shores. All righty, let's see, moving on to our next entry. This is a fairly unique ah. one. <laughs> <laughs> now, this does come to us from the National Motor Museum in Birdwood, South Australia, which is roughly equivalent to, uh, for those folks in America, roughly equivalent to the, uh, to the Smithsonian. Um, and, but this is for the uh, motoring division of it. And this vehicle was uh, made by a uh, telecom company for the 1992 Summer Olympics. Um, An early to, mobile phone? It's the yep. first yes. mobile phone. <laughs> 
I'm, I'm, I'm here all night. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the amazing thing is this thing actually drives. <laughs> That's horrifying. <laughs> And speaking of horrifying, we have uh, this entrant also from the National Motoring Museum. This is a light burn Zeta, or is it Zeta, as should I be saying? Uh, Zeta is the proper pronunciation. Zeta. It is a light burn Zeta made by the Light Burn Company, which was the first uh, ball bearing manufacturer in Australia and most noted for their washing machines. So why wouldn't you build a car, I think is the uh, appropriate question there. And uh, they built, they didn't just build one, they built quite a few of them and in different styles. They built a ute because Australia, yeah. and they built a sedan, and then they built this. A their washing car. machines are better looking. <laughs> <laughs> I think the washing machines are better looking. Um, and better colors. Yes, oh. uh, this was the, uh, the sports version of the Lightburn Zeta. Um, with a, what is it, like 132 cc Villers two-stroke engine in it. That's Just it. something awful. And uh, boy, they, they thought this was a, the sporty car. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And to, to put some context around it, they built a whole 28 of them. <laughs> There's probably 27 too many. Yeah, that's because yeah. not everybody wants them with a car. All right, and next up we have an Isuzu KB. Now, the Americans will probably recognize this as a Chevy Love. It but it, it was uh, first brought to Australia as an Isuzu with a diesel engine. So you can imagine the uh, sprightliness of this car and it looks like it has not been loved in a long time. You told me it was freshly restored. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow that pine needles grew on it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, spiders have taken up residence in the cab. And it, is, it being Australia, the spiders are most assuredly poisonous. So yes. <laughs> next up is a uh, sort of a uh, Australian base car. It's a Japanese car, but uh, also was in, exported to Australia. It is a 260C Cedric station wagon, something we didn't get to see in the United States, a Datsun 260C. Probably got a Z in line six, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. Yes. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. That, that is, is cool. I like that. Now, this has a unique feature in it. You see that uh, there is a keyhole in the uh, what would be the driver's side, but it is the passenger side in Australia. Passenger side rear quarter panel. If you put the key in there and turn it, that passenger rear window comes down for some reason because wow. there's a hatchback about a foot away. So why you would need <laughs> to roll that window down from the outside of the car when you can open the hatchback kind of beyond me, but there it is. Probably can put your kangaroo in there. That's right, for easy kangaroo access. Uh, any of them seem to float to the top of, uh, of awfulness or wonderfulness for, for Eric or Kevin or Tim? I think like turds, they're all floating to the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with that one. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the Chevy Love Ute sticks out for all the wrong reasons for me. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough, yeah. Why'd we pick this guy as to be a judge? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I never quite got my head around the standard. Are we, we talking the best? Or the <laughs> Indeed, either one, yes. You know, Eric, it, it, it's I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of partial to that Zeta. There's just something about trying to be a sports car and just doing it that wrong that makes it very special. Mm -hmm. That's fair, that's fair. But the phone car sort of captured my heart. There's something about that that's it's just, cool. uh, yeah. It, it, They're it, all you know, pretty bad, though. I like oh. the Dotson wagon, too. I mean, that's pretty cool with a Z car motor in it. Yeah, that yeah. is cool. Is, is that one that is in contention? That's a viable uh, uh, entry? Oh, certainly, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, I, I like that one, too. That's a very honest car. Yeah. And the fact that they did put, if that is the 260 motor, the L26, I guess it would be, that's, that's kind of a neat, neat, uh, a neat package. Yeah. No, I hope they got the carburetor shouldn't better than they did in America. 
Yeah, yeah. They, it looks like they got a single two barrel on it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'll run better than American 260Z, right? <laughs> Probably. Okay, so I'm I'm hearing that maybe the 260 Cedric is is coming up on everyone's list. Uh, or any yeah. love for the phone car or the uh, or the Zeta at this point? I like um, them, but but I like to give these awards to real people and not museums. I mean, I, I appreciate them being involved with your event. But. Yeah. So I'm so I'm hearing that the uh, that the the Cedric is kind of kind of coming up the list here. I I think I'd agree with that too. I'm a wagon guy too. I've got an yeah. S wagon, so I know what a lemons wagon looks like. Yeah. What, <laughs> well, if we're, if we're look, what about the Falcon wagon? That's pretty pretty spectacularly bad as well. It's too. Blank. But it's, I mean, it is in white. It's yeah, yeah. I agree, but it's, it's got such a terrible shape. It makes it makes vanilla look exciting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I think I think we're agreed then that the uh, that the 260C Cedric uh, wagon is the winner of the virtually awful Concorde de Limones cobbled together kangaroo cart class. Uh, Big I'm, round I'm of applause. Agreed. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll agree with that. I'm so proud. Yes, and and the owner uh, <laughs> the owner should be proud because the owner will be receiving a three hundred dollar eBay gift card and uh, some car care products from the fine folks at uh, at Griot's Garage uh, once we can figure out how to ship it to Australia. So because um, I I don't think you can ship anything to Australia right now. We'll find out. But uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors: Haggerty, Classic Motorsports Magazine, uh, eBay Motors. Griot's Garage, and we'd like to thank our uh, our celebrity judges here for being dumb enough to waste time on this uh, this farce of a car show. Uh, thank you all so much for for attending. Um, it's been a joy, and uh, you can tell your parole officers that you were gainfully employed today, so uh, you don't have to go back to jail. Yeah, <laughs> for me. <laughs> all righty. Well, thank you all so much. Thanks for participating, and we're moving on to Appreciate the next class. Thanks, guys.